Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes, tamu sana. Yesterday, Sabati, a member of parliament, Alfred Agui, Musalia Mudavadi's home MP, dropped a bombshell on Musalia Mudavadi while in Vihiga. And that bombshell has also been captured by Nation Digital today. Sabatia MP Mudavadi could not fund his presidential campaign. And if you go through that story, it's telling us that Mudavadi could not actually raise enough funds for his presidential campaigns. So he was actually forced to join William Ruto for he could not match Raila and Ruto campaigns. Yes, that's what the member of parliament trying to say. And interestingly, there is a very interesting thing he's saying. He added, we told him, Mudavadi, your supporters want you to go all the way to the ballot as a presidential candidate. But we were disadvantaged since we did not have resources to face Raila Odinga and William Ruto in the campaigns. The only option for us then was to join the deputy president and work with him. That's Alfred Agoyi. And even from the way he's trying to defend himself, or even from that response, it's very clear that this member of parliament is not being sincere. And that kind of a response or explanation from where I sit is not all that convincing. And I'm saying it not, it's not convincing because why did he choose to join William Ruto and not Raila Molo Odinga? While the ground in Western, where Musala Mudabadi comes from, is predominantly Raila Molo Odinga. How can he explain that? Why they chose to work with William Ruto and not what the ground wants, Raila Molo Odinga? From that response, or rather from that kind of a reaction, I'm seeing two things here, ladies and gentlemen. The first thing, this member of parliament is hanging Musala Mudavadi to dry. He is actually sanitizing himself from Musala's political move to join William Ruto. And he's just cleverly trying to be nice to Mudavadi because he plans on contesting through Musala's party ANC for the Vihiga gubernatorial seat. So he does not want to have very harsh words on Musala Mudabadi for fear of being denied party ticket. But what he's trying to say, he is hanging Musala Mudabadi to, to dry. He's just trying to tell the people that look here, we prevailed upon Musala Mudabadi to go all the way to the ballot. But he told us he had, he had no funds to mount a serious presidential campaign. That is what this member of parliament is trying to say. And I know he's making that public to sanitize himself eh, from, the, from the ground because the ground might be very hostile to Mudavadi joining William Ruto. And also the ground might be hostile to any leader supporting William Ruto. So he's just trying to actually clean his hands. And that, that move was Musalia's own personal decision because he had no funds. And then that also proves that Western is very hostile to Musala Mudabadi working with William Ruto. And that's now a given fact because even from the latest opinion polls that have been done in Western, it's very clear that upon Musala Mudabadi joining hands with William Ruto, Raila's popularity in Western actually shot up while William Ruto's popularity permanent or rather dropped. So it's also very clear that this member of parliament and that Kenya Kwanzaa team hmm, currently supporting William Ruto, they might be feeling some heat from the ground. The ground is actually hostile to them. And that's why this member of parliament is coming out just to explain why Mudavadi is actually working with William Ruto. The ground is hostile. And then the second point, this member of parliament 
is actually confirming that Musele Mudavadi has been lying to Kenyans. You know, during Musalia's ANC NDC meeting, when William Ruto attended, Musalia made it clear to the whole nation that he was still on the presidential ballot. That was Musalia Mudavadi. And actually has been trying to, to propagate that. Some few days ago, when Rigati Gashagwa dropped a bombshell that Kenya Kwanzaa presidential candidate is William Ruto, Musalia's party, party secretary general, ANC secretary general, actually rubbished him, Rigati Gashagwa. And he made it clear that that was something that had not actually been finalized. So this member of parliament, Agoi, is just confirming again that Musalia has actually been lying to Kenyans by cheating Kenyans that he was on the presidential ballot. And from where I sit, as I've always been saying, that exposes Musalia Mudavadi as an ordinary liar. He is just a liar. Mm. And from where I sit again, that has the political implication of creating a perception, or rather of Musale Mudabadi being seen as a joker. Mm. And if he could lie to Kenyans and to his people that he actually was going for the presidency, while he knew he could not manage <laughs> to go all the way to the ballot, how will he now convince his people that this candidate is supporting can actually be a good president. Hmm. I'm seeing Musale Mudavadi going to have a big problem trying to explain or even to convince his people that actually Mus William Ruto can be a good president or a good leader. And above all, Alfred Agui, from where I see it, is also very likely that Agui might also be contemplating of even dumping Musale Mudavadi. Because the moment now he starts coming, coming out in public to say that they told Mudavadi to go, that his people wanted him to go all the way to the ballot, is also an indication that things might not be all that good in Musale's party. And as I talk, there are some allegations and rumors, though not confirmed, that Likuyani member of parliament Kibunguchi, Eno Kibunguchi, and some Musalia allies in Western are contemplating dumping Mudavadi as I talk right now. So th this is also just an admission. This member of parliament is also just admitting that things might not be all that good in Musalia's party. You know, this is Musalia, Musalia Mudavadi's member of parliament. Musalia comes from Sabatia. This is Musalia's member of parliament. And for him to state that shows clearly that things are even bad in Musalia's own home constituency in Sabatia. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, before I conclude, in case you've just bumped here for the very first time, and so far you have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. Yes, give it a like. And to those watching us outside Kenya for the very first time, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. And if possible, again, subscribe, give this video a like. And to our fans, our subscribers here, I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. Yes, I'm very grateful. God bless you. God bless Kenya. And to any other person who is also a fan of us here, but so far you've never, never subscribed, but you like our videos all together, kindly take that this opportunity today. Subscribe, give this video a like. Give it a like, please. And before I forget, I was forgetting something very important. This member of parliament, or rather, in a nutshell, from what this member of parliament is, trying to say, he's just also confirming, hmm, he's just confirming that Western as a whole, Western as a whole, might be, might be very, very hostile to Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. Yes. 
Western might be very hostile to Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. And that just proves the notion that actually Raila is actually the person to beat in Western. That's also just, it, it also shows something like that. God bless you, God bless Kenya.